Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks and Quilts. This time we'll be making a pixel heart for the special gamer in your life. Okay guys, so here's the pattern that I'm going to be using. I found it on the internet. I'll share it at the end so you can have it. Just take the squares, whatever size you want to use. I'm using two and a half by two and a half squares. And start placing it following the pattern of the heart. Two blanks, three colors, three blanks, three colors, two blanks. You can use whatever fabrics you guys have laying around. I used literally all the scraps I could find. Just follow the at least until all the way half, like six lines down at least. It'll be a little more manageable. Just sew all the way down. And the easiest way to do it is put one on top of the other. So keep doing the chain piecing and it'll be a lot easier. I'll be showing you how to do it in a little bit. I do this either going from left to right or top to bottom your choice it's just very easy don't worry if you end up having a little piece sticking out we're going to be squaring it at the end of the first half so this is how you do the chain piece put one on top of the other bring it to the machine make sure it's in the stitch you want it and stitch back stitch in the beginning at the end please don't forget it is very important sorry my hands in the way just do that pick another piece and repeat all the way until you have the entire first row done. Once you're done with that, open up your pieces, give them a little press, keep sewing. Press and sew, press and sew, press and sew. Now that you have your blocks sewn together, take your ruler and cut away all the excess. Make sure it's nice and square so when you do the half portion of the bottom, it will be perfect. It's pretty simple. Just be careful you don't cut your fingers. So here's the top piece of the heart. It's very cute. Now all you have to do is go iron it and set it to the side, okay? We're going to be doing the bottom half. So here you have the bottom piece. I laid it out the same way as the first, okay? So just repeat the same process, sew down, and have fun, okay? So here you have the finished top. I iron it and cut it the same way as we did before. So let's make this into a quilt sandwich and I'll see you in a second. So now that you have your quilt sandwich, I'm going to be quilting it very simple, just following the pattern around the heart and then throwing some extra lines just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. Just do it however you like. Since the quilt top is white, I drew the guidelines on the bottom, that way you can't see them, but it's very easy to follow. So once you have that, get your little binding ready and just stitch it around the corners, okay? Make sure you secure with with the little clips like I showed you in the other video and keep sewing. So here's the finished quilt. I hope you liked the little video tutorial. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And please, if you follow my tutorial and make a quilt like this, please take a picture and put it on the comments below. I would love to see it. Stay geeky!